Imagine a tall creature resembling its crocodile relatives, confidently striding on land. During the Triassic period in the American Southwest, there lived Papasaurus, an archosaur closely related to crocodiles, capable of moving upright. In fact, some depictions make it look quite similar to dinosaurs in its stance. A common misunderstanding is that all crocodile relatives were low, sluggish, and aquatic. However, the Triassic era was home to croc-like cousins that actively ran, hunted, and occupied various land environments long before modern crocodiles narrowed their roles. Papasaurus thrived on floodplains and seasonal rivers, where solid ground emerged during dry spells, creating open paths for hunting. Its design favored agility, supported by strong hind limbs that allowed it to travel long distances between food sources and execute quick sprints when prey faltered. Its skull and teeth indicate it was a predator or an opportunistic hunter, rather than a plant eater. In the competitive Triassic ecosystems, teeming with other archosaurs, an upright posture was essential. It helped conserve energy and increase the efficiency of travel, which was crucial when droughts concentrated prey around limited water sources. Papasaurus exemplifies how much of the Triassic period was an experiment in movement. The species that emerged victorious weren't always guaranteed success, as they were shaped by ongoing climate changes and shifts in ecosystems. Now, envisioned a dusty riverbank at twilight, a tall creature with a crocodilian head and a swift gait crosses your path. You might mistake it for a dinosaur, but the Triassic era recognizes it as a distant crocodile relative, showcasing that evolutionary adaptations of posture occurred multiple times in history. Thank you for exploring the Southwest with us. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and let us know which Triassic rule breaker you'd like us to spotlight next. Join us on the next episode.